from the sex lives of college girls, which premieres on HBO Max this Thursday. Congratulations on the show. Thank you. You're the creator of the show, exec producer of the show. For anyone who doesn't know, tell us what it's all about. Well, it's called The Sex Lives of College Girls. <laughs> um, and it's about a farming community <laughs> in... Yeah. Rural town. In rural Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's about what you think it is. E even I'm shocked by the title sometimes. And if you Google it right now, it does not... It's very pornographic, what'll show up. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really funny show about four freshman roommates in college where you're like the one time in your life where you're like randomly assigned to live with somebody. Yeah. And just like them trying to find love and yes, have sex and but you know, about their time in college. Did you draw on your own college experience when you were putting the show together? <laughs> no, I did not. Right. No, no, I did not. It's no, so I loved, I didn't think there was enough shows about college on TV and I loved my college experience. So I went to a school in New England. So that vibe is really part of the show, but um, Definitely not any of the, like, romantic or sexual stuff. That I relied on my writing staff to help with. <laughs> but, yeah, but, like, the friendship stuff and feeling, like, you know, feeling ambitious and boys not liking you, that was all, like, pulled from my life. <laughs> <laughs> not boys not liking you. I mean, Evan, you, you said before that your, your parents wanted you to be a doctor. Yeah. Uh, what, when did they sort of just get on board and accept you becoming a comedian and an actor? Um, I want to say when I made it, made it. You know, right. like, because you can't just, like, halfway make it. Um, like, I remember when uh, Chris Rock had me go on tour with him, like, in 2017. I thought that was, like, making it. And I called my mom, and I'm like, hey, mom, like, this is super exciting. Like, I'm going on tour with Chris Rock. And she's like, who? And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you can you cannot crap on this dream of mine. This is, like, a huge deal. And so I was just like, man, I, I, I'm, I'm tired of the dating that, like, I want the day when I can actually share them my good news and they can get it. Mm. And so the day was approaching for me to go on tour, and I guess my cousin had gotten to my mom, and so my mom called and she said, we are very proud of you because you're going on tour with Christopher Rock. <laughs> <laughs> who is a actor, writer. I was like, are you reading his <laughs> Wikipedia page? <laughs> and she was. She was, like, Googling. That's awesome. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I just have to get to a place where I can allow them to embrace my success however it makes sense to them, even if it means through a third party. Which sure. I'm like, one day it's going to be enough for me. But I think now, <laughs> now they're on board. They're, like, super happy because they're sending the WhatsApp text messages to people. And oh, it's like, great. your auntie knows about this thing. Or, but also, <laughs> my mom will always, like, criticize as well. So she'll be like, you, it was nice that you did that, but your outfit. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Okay. Well, she's gonna love this outfit, you know, surely. She's not. Oh, she's... please. It's... I can see the text message now. You are overexposed. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you want these grandkids or not, Mom? <laughs> Do you want these grandkids or not? Ladies and gentlemen, please thank Mindy Kaling, Yvonne Orji. We got music from Magic Jordan when we come back. Come on back.